In this video, we're going to show you the simplest way to add French doors to a closet. We're going to open it and show them. That's too messy. I'm going to keep that closed. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Uh, so this week, Jacob had a closet here that didn't have doors on it. We've been kind of debating what to put on there. Uh, neither of us are big fans of bifold doors just because they are a little bit awkward to open. So bifold doors were kind of out. The other option was kind of bypass sliding doors. The big issue is that is you can only access half your closet at once. So we installed these French doors and what's really nice about them is they match the rest of the home's decor and they just look like really nice doors. And um, having the French doors up on the closet just made us feel all grown up. Like we got it neat, we got it organized and it just looks like this space is done. In this video, we're going to show you the easiest way and the least expensive hardware options. So for these French doors to work out, your closet opening has to be plumb and level. So what we did is we took off the trim and used a level and made sure everything was exactly where it needed to be. We ordered up some door blanks that match the rest of the doors in our house. Uh, they were just a tiny bit big and I wanted the doors to open and close really nice so we took just a tiny bit off it. I think it was about a quarter of an inch off of each door. So normally what you would do is you would actually have to like chisel out for your hinge or router it out. But we found these hinges that um, they're non-mortise so you can just install them flush just like that. Uh, but one caution is you can't use them with a really heavy solid core door. These are pretty lightweight doors and um, you could definitely get away with this type of hinge on this door. So what I do is I like to mark the center of the drill holes, not the placement of the hinge, because then I can start my pre-drilling right in the center of that hole. And then it worked a lot better to install the hinges with the door face down. We just put a spacer, um, we figured out how high we wanted the door to be off of the floor and ripped on our table saw a spacer. Then we just set the door right on that spacer and line it up with where it needs to go. So there's a lot of measuring and kind of figuring and stuff that's going on that you're not seeing in this video. I'm sorry, it, um, that was probably the hardest part, just kind of placing those hinges and making sure they're all in a line. So once we got the two doors installed in the hinges and checked to make sure that everything was closing nicely, that they lined up at the top and the bottom, and again, really important that your opening is plumb and level, um, we can start installing the hardware. So for the catch where the knobs are going to be, we're going to use these guys. They're ball catches and they're just a ball on a spring and it pops into the little notch as you close it and that's what keeps it closed. It's actually really easy to install and what I like about it is it looks like a legit hardware for a door. So it's super easy to install and um, I think they were like eight bucks. So a little bit expensive, but not terrible. And then also they're adjustable. So if you, if you have a bigger or smaller gap in your door, you can easily adjust it to accommodate that. Um, on the top, we put a stop block, and you can also do this all the way around, but we just did it on the top, and it's just a one by two that basically stops the door where you want it. To keep the door shut at the top, we installed these heavy duty roller catches. So we're gonna move into painting the door before we do too much more, so, um, we just got some white paint. The doors are pre-primed and uh, painted up to match the rest of the doors in our house. Now for the remainder of the hardware. So you can buy dummy doorknobs and you know they're basically just the handle. There's nothing more behind it. And screw it right into the front of the, your door and it'll look just like a regular doorknob. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, guys, so if you want to add French doors to a closet opening, 
I have a blog post that has links to all of the hardware that we use and some more photos. So head on over there and check that out. Make sure you take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you if you have. And check back next Monday because we put out a new project video every single week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next Monday. Two blanks, two fake doorknobs, and some hardware, and now it's done.